I'm Chris Bannon. I'm the product manager for Wichmo at Grape City. I'm Bernardo Castillo. I'm Grape City CTO. So, uh, Wichmo, it's what we consider the best uh, collection of UI components. We created the best of breed in data grids, charts, uh, input controls, OLAP, uh, and even some specialized components like financial chart. We were actually the first component vendor to break away from jQuery and the widget pattern. Uh, we were also the first to uh, move and uh, require IE9 and above, uh, and that allowed us to leverage these features in modern browsers. Um, and uh, beyond that, uh, we also decided to not have any dependencies uh, like jQuery, uh, certainly not jQuery UI or any other uh, JavaScript library. Obviously, you know, people are going to use Widge model in a lot of different environments. And right from the start, uh, we decided to support Knockout and Angular 1. And it's not a dependency, it's not a requirement, um, but we want to make sure if you're using Widgmo components in any of these frameworks, it feels right at home and you can use it um, along with the patterns uh, and practices that those frameworks provide. So, uh, interestingly, a lot of these JavaScript frameworks have a component model. So it's very nice that we can wrap our components and extend our own controls to create native components to these frameworks. So uh, it really allows our customers to leverage those platforms. But React is, is kind of unique because although it's, it's, it's all component based, a lot of these frameworks are. So that's not truly unique. What makes React unique is that they use the JSX. It's an extended version of JavaScript that can get transpiled into JavaScript uh, at build time, just like TypeScript. Work can be done on the fly. But what JSX does is it brings HTML into your JavaScript syntax. It extends JavaScript. So you can do your development like in one file, intermixing HTML constructs with JavaScript. And to a lot of people, including me, that sounds kind of weird, you know, strange and, and you know, just not right. Uh, they say it goes against conventional wisdom and it does. Uh, at the React site, they say, give us five minutes and give it a try before you say you're not going to be part of this. Uh, so I did that and surprisingly, it does become natural after a while to look at those HTML constructs like natural extensions of JavaScript. So it doesn't feel so much like you're mixing stuff, but you're just programming using a more powerful language. So that's really nice and it does, I can see how that can enhance productivity a lot. And also because it's unique, we thought this would be a good test for our interop architecture and approach. If we can do an interop for React, that means we can probably do interrupts for any frameworks that are going to come down the pipe in the future. So what's interesting is once we started, where I started working on this interop, uh, I realized that because React sort of holds these things together, it makes the interop that much easier because there's less, uh, there's fewer layers between the markup and the code. You're just working with one thing and that simplifies things a lot. I really like it. I, I think it's, it's very, I, I wouldn't say it's better. Uh, I don't know if Angular is better than React or vice versa or Vue is better. I think each one has its strengths and weaknesses and depends a lot on the type of application that you're working on. That's why we built Wichmo in just JavaScript, um, so that it can adapt to any of these environments and be used in any of these environments, and it is the same components. So under the hood, it's the same exact flex script, and you get that same API whether you're using a you know, older knockout component or you're using our brand new React component.